as three combinations left to come forwards. And this is the combination that won in Jardy in 2017. It is the double Olympic champion, Michael Young, and he comes forward with Star Connection. Now, this is a horse actually that hasn't competed at this level of competition since that win in Jardy a couple of years ago. So has been off games, missed last season and has just had a couple of runs at the beginning of this season at a couple of levels below with one of the riders who works for Mickey as well. So coming back out at the level, but hugely experienced as a combination and no better man on board than the former world number one. Could have been more engaged into his first halt. If we're, I think we're going to be able to be so ultra critical of these. Well, we have been. They've all brought amazing tests to us. So Nick won't have seen that because he obviously saw the straightness, but the judge at the sides could see it wasn't as good. Lovely in the rhythm, lovely in the frame. Looks like it wants to go. Now, actually, when he won in Jardy, he scored 23.8. So more than capable of hitting those yeah, low twenties. And you think he's I know he's had some time off, but you think he'll be be more mileage and rideable in the arena. But I mean these last three German riders will show everybody how to ride a dressage test, to be fair. You see how that horse comes off the floor in that extended trot and it wants to go all the way to the end, doesn't ever look, and then it just seamlessly comes back to the Kletzi trot, because there is a mark for the transition back. Now I would imagine that's going to be big marks. Oh, eights, yeah. Lovely right back. And then it's a nice transition. Eight. Eight. All those scores just catching up. Nick Burton, the voice we can hear in the background, just as the president of the ground jury, the judge at sea, he's mic'd up so we can go in and listen to his comments, his marks on each of the horses as they come through. But the score's really coming in now for Mickey. And I think, as I was saying earlier, it's, you're not getting the best feedback from the judge because the horses are all going so well. He's not making many comments. <laughs> you, you learn more from the slightly not so good tests. 7.5 for the medium wall. And we've actually been spoilt because the field here have been uh, yeah. really performing in this first phase. Not quite straight. Seven. Well, if you are just joining us here in Wiesbaden, then a very warm welcome. We're into the latter stages of the dressage. Michael Young star connection in the arena at the moment. And Maintain list one carriage. dressage judge Mark Ruddock in the commentary 5. studio with me. I need, to, I need to get the marks higher because I need to break this record now. Come along. Well, the record you're referring to, uh, that of Thomas Carlyle and Upland. 20.5. Mm. Julia Krajewski came close. We've still Andreas Ossolt and uh, the one that could well do it, Ingrid Klimka, so SAP Hale. Eight, and the change, a little more spring, 7.5. Yeah. So with him saying that, was the canter was a little bit flat, is what it meant by a little bit spring. But I mean, it's still a 7.5. You know, the horse doesn't have the biggest canter. This has a better trot Eight. than the canter. Not that we'd uh, not have this horse, but I mean, just as to why it doesn't get probably the nines that it could. A little more bend. Oh. And spooking. Six. So he was quite kind, I think. But I think the horse is so in the zone and so focused, all it takes is like a bird or something to suddenly catch their eye line and that eight little glitch and eight like for that the change. happens. You know, put us like back in the zone again. Eight. Straightness in canter. 
good yeah. hold. 7.5. Well, Michael Young, star connection, finishing their test and saluting to the members of our ground jury. Nick Burton there, president of the ground jury, about to make his final comments. This was still a very good test, make no mistake, and likely to be a personal best at the level for the horse. He is the double Olympic champion for a reason. He is a master of his trade and actually this is a combination that should be going into second on the leaderboard when that score comes through. What was it about this test mark? Because there are a lot of very good marks and just a couple of areas where he lost a few. It, it was literally a moment's lapse of concentration um, but the class of the horse and the production and how it was presented was stunning and as I say the horse gets so in the zone that actually a bird could just move and suddenly it, it was a glitch but to break a record it's like there I just think the flower must have moved or something he but did well to keep his correct it was, it was just a glitch and well, he did well not to change legs. 22.2. He is second on the leaderboard at the moment. And we're going to go and get the thoughts of the double Olympic champion with Charlotte. For one second, thank you so much. He's just attending to his horse, quite rightly so, before he chats to us. Which is to make sure we don't get in the way of Andres is about to come in. Mikhail, it was great. Can we just get a confirmation of the score again? It was 22 point. 22.2 score, so a great score, but there was a momentary lapse of concentration there. What happened? Well, <laughs> this is what we've been hearing. Mark, who's our FEI judge in, um, in the studio, saying there's a momentary point where he thought he lost concentration, but obviously you didn't, you didn't that's what he saw, but you didn't feel that. No, uh, Star Connection is really a beautiful horse. Um, he's a bit spooky. He's also a bit uh, sensitive with other horses. He's a bit shy. So... This was uh, a difficult test for him, uh, quite a big atmosphere. I had him here the first competition and I'm very happy that he's back and it's just a beautiful horse, so nice to ride him. It was absolutely a beautiful test. Of course, yeah, I really enjoyed to ride him also on the warm-up. He's so comfortable to sit and to ride and he's always concentrated and has nice movements and uh, yeah, it's uh, really nice to ride him. Do you think you've done enough? Show jumping next. Uh, yeah, okay. This is the first competition with him again. Uh, he was a little bit injured. So I'm very happy to be here that he's back. He's sound. He's very strong. He's nice to ride. He's normally a good jumper, a fantastic horse. He win also something in the past. Um, we just enjoy the first competition and then we will um, keep going on. Best of luck for the show, Jimmy. Thank you for talking to us, Mikhail. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Something. This is the combination who won Jardy in 2017, 22.2 their starting score. And we were talking about riders jumping Grand Prix a little bit earlier on. Mickey is certainly one that you would see in the pure discipline. Yeah, that's right. Michael's really an all-around great horseman, great three-day event rider, great show jumper, and a, a great guy as, as well. Um, I've competed against Michael in show jumping events just a few weeks ago, and I've seen him win uh, Olympic medals yeah. <laughs> at multiple Olympic Games. So <laughs> he obviously knows a lot about horses and a lot about competing. So you can see there that he sort of went out to jump that um, that oxer on sort of a left to right angle just so he could get sent into the turn on an even quicker stride just to make up time without really running out his horse. So he has his horse jumping in a super nice way, oh, nicely hurried. into the double and cantering over here to the sixth stride across the middle. And he looks like he's got all the time in the world. Well, we'll be seeing yeah. whether he has in a minute, but he has. Yeah. yeah. Without even showing anything. That's yeah. one thing that a that Michael, with his experience, he can do. He can make up time without showing that he is. Well, Michael Young, what star connection, easily inside the time. They will be on a, the podium going forward to the cross country, 22.2. Their score going forward, and they go ahead of Bill Levitt as things stand. At the, always be the fastest in the cross country. Bill knows that, and will be
be pushing for the clock. But here is our leader, Michael Young, star connection, 22.2. He's got a bit of buffer in terms of the time as well. We'll confirm just how many seconds in a moment once Bill Levitt has completed. But there's no better man on board, Zerkai, to go out as last on course under pressure. Yeah, well, I think uh, the more pressure he has, the better he gets. So um, I think he, he, he knows the job and the horse inside out. And uh, so he, he he's just, yeah, well, for him, it might just be a walk in the park. Just a walk around the Schloss Park, Rudiger Schwartz, the cross-country course designer. He's just put a couple of Cavaletti out for him to play with on his way. A couple of people turned up to watch him. But Michael Young is the leader at the moment. He's certainly not hanging around as he comes to the first question on course. And this is a horse that I know he thinks a huge amount of as a jumper. And you can just see the horse just so athletic. All adds a little bit of time. And Bill heads to the final fence. So we'll confirm Bill's time for you in just a second. But Michael Young's star connection is the only one that can knock Chris Burton off the top spot. Please take him out of podium contention. Michael Young, star connection, easily through the Wilbury Wonder Pony brushes. Now, if you are just tuning in, then this is the combination who lead coming into this final phase here in leg two of the Event Rider Masters in Wiesbaden. In the studio with me, Kai Stefan Meyer and uh, Mark Ruddock. And Mark, your thoughts, is he quick enough? Yeah, it's just cruising. Yeah. With, yeah. Bar, bar, a blip. Yeah, bar a blip, probably fastest of the day, I'd say. We'll know now. Where's the time? He's, he's slightly down uh, in terms of achieving that optimum time, but here's the thing. He doesn't need to achieve the optimum time because he's got seconds in hand. He's got a bit of a buffer. And when this horse won in Shardy, he used every single one of the seconds in hand he had when he took the title. He can be 15 seconds over to still go ahead of Chris Burson. But that sort of proves the horseman he is, isn't it? He's not going to actually just need to be 10 seconds over. So actually, old measured horses well fed to the don't, don't go foot to the Don't next. push harder than you have, you have to. to. And he will be able to be, have a clock in his head and where us mere mortals would uh, make a mess up of that timing. He'll get it. Yeah, he has, he has such a feeling for yeah. um, for the speed, for, for where he needs to be when on course. And uh, I always feel like if he would need to, he can still make yeah, a second freeze. or two uh, faster. But he'd know just in the arena, wouldn't he, what, how to yeah. get get another second. Yeah, yeah. He's cruising past us there. He's just uh, swinging right-handed behind us. He's going to run in front of the palace. There's a couple of really nice, easy fences that are just uh, let up fences, as we'd call them. The crowds are packed really tightly up to the string. And then he's going to run very closely through the trade stands on his way to the main arena. He's just over a minute left on the clock. Michael Young, star connection. 22.2 their score. He's into the main arena. Quick check of the watch. <laughs> Here he is in the main arena. Made that look very straightforward. The clock is okay at the moment. Remember, he can let it go 15 seconds over and stay ahead of Chris Burton. So Michael Young, a star connection. Will we have another German winner here? Just uh, takes no chances at that table in the middle of the arena. Swings left-handed to the final combination. And uh, easily clear of the first one. Left-handed over the second. He's checking his watch. He knows he's got seconds in hand. And he uh, steadies as he approaches the last. Clears it with miles of speed. And Michael Young, star connection, three seconds over the time, 23.4.
this combination, two Event Rider Masters legs, two Event Rider Masters wins. And this is once again German winner here in Wiesbaden. Mark, how impressive across the country this combination. Just sheer, it has been sheer class over the whole two days, hasn't it? And I mean, that's why he is who he is. He, it? That's why he's the double Olympic <laughs> exactly. champion. But without any stress and without just measured, you can't you know, just tell him. And how much does he love playing up to the German crowd <laughs> here, Kai? Because I'm sure he's done a couple of laps of honour already. Calling his horse off, horse off or just...? Well, I think he, he enjoys that and, and uh, the, the people like it. And I think it's, it's good for the horses to, to cool down easy enough so he... he he used the two things together. But, um. Well, that is Bill Levitt coming through the main arena. The ground jury just wanting to see the flag positioning of him. And uh, that will be slowed down for the ground jury to have a really good look at it. Led, of course, by President uh, Nick Burton. And we'll get that confirmed for you in just a second. But Bill, will he get 15 penalties or not? Not sure. One thing is certain, though. This man here has just won his second event by the Masters leg by a, a quite considerable margin from the 2018 series champion Chris Burton, who's second. Ingrid Klimka climbed two places onto the podium in third. And very impressive on the cross country with SAP Hale Bob OLD. But Mickey off the horse. And the horse, actually, you can just see a measure of, of his fitness. He's only blowing a little bit, Kai. And actually, he finished full of running. Yeah, it was uh, it was absolutely a masterpiece what he what he delivered there. There was not a lot. He, he, he rode uh, with a super rhythm, and that's also why the horse uh, arrives that fit in, in the finish. He, he just keeps uh, kept cantering around and jumping the jumps that were in his way. And now, in terms of you know, we've already said it's sheer class and master class. This horse has not competed at an event of this level for almost two years since he won here won at Jardy sorry in the event rider masters series in 2017. Mikhail amazing even better in front of a home crowd on a horse you haven't competed in over a year did you think you're going to be here? Um, I'm not sure I'm just sure that he's a really really nice horse uh, he has a lot of quality in all three um, disciplines and he has a super brain, he's easy to ride, so he's definitely a super horse and I'm very, very happy that he's back. Well, you do, you make it look super easy, you always do, Mikhail. A pleasure to watch you, congratulations, thank you. We present to the winner of leg two of the Event Rider Masters 2019, a prize money of 18,000 euros, riding Star Connection, owned by Mikhail Young. Representing Germany, please welcome Mikhail Young. The owner of Star Connection also received a two-night stay at the Monarch Hotel in Ireland, compliments of Monarch Elite Event Horse Sales.